Hey guys, it's Chris. Welcome back to the channel. And today we're going to be taking a look at a product that I got from One Car Stereo. Let's go. This is the device that we're going to be working with today. And I'm going to be installing it on the Type R. Let's go. So here is what the box looks like. It has chrome lettering, so it may be hard to read. On the front, it says full Android system. It supports 4G because you can insert a SIM card in this device. You can put a memory card up to 128 gigabytes. It has a Qualcomm Snapdragon chip. It's plug and play, it has a built-in GPS. It has mirror play. It has wireless Android Auto and wireless Apple CarPlay. Four gigs of RAM, 64 gigs of memory. The processor is a A53 which is the eight core processor running at 1.8 gigahertz. So we're gonna go ahead, take this out of the box. This is my current um, wireless Android box. Uh, this is from AutoCost, AutoCost. This is from AutoCast. I got this about a year ago. They sent this out to me to do a review. And I love this thing because when I was rocking my Galaxy S21 Ultra, it would connect to Android Auto wirelessly without any issues. Um, it did take a little while to boot up, but that's fine. It only took like 15 seconds, but that's like time where you put your seatbelt on and get your car warmed up and everything. But yeah, let's do a quick unboxing. This is what is inside the box. So we have an instruction manual. Uh, it just tells you the basic functions. So it uses a nano SIM and again, it uses a micro SD card. If you want to put a uh, micro SD card in here that has like media files and all that stuff, it does play video. So if you have any movies stored in that card, this would be a perfect box to play movies. Um, it is really small. Now, if we compare it to this guy right here, they're both a pretty good size with the AutoCast being a rectangle and then this being just a square, both really small, nice and thin and lightweight. Um, let's take the plastic covering off of this. As you can see, it uses a USB type C and then micro SD card slot on the right. Build quality, it feels kind of cheap. It has, it's not that light. It has like a good weight to it. But if we compare it to this one, honestly, they both feel the same with this having like a smoother texture to it. And then this one is more of a rougher texture. Actually, this one's a little bit lighter than the AutoCast. But yeah, we're basically gonna plug this in USB-C to USB-A um, and we'll see the interface oh by the way they did include uh, two cables USB-C to a USB-C which is not compatible with our cars unfortunately they did include a USB-C to a USB-A cable so this is obviously where we're gonna be plugging into the car to make this thing work so I have the device connected to the car now all I have to do is turn the car on, but first I'm gonna show you guys how um, how long it takes to connect to my iPhone um, because this does have wireless Apple CarPlay. So we're gonna go ahead and put the car in accessory mode so that we can turn this on. So it boots right up. Um, now from this screen, what I do is you would have to press this button. So now it's already connected to my iPhone. So as you can see, that's what it looks like. We have all our apps. There is a slight delay when cycling through the menu. 
and there is a slight delay when talking to Siri. Hey Siri, what is 2 plus 2? 2 plus 2 is 4. So it's pretty fast. Um, there is a slight delay, like maybe a 1 or 2 second delay, but it's not that bad. Um, and when I'm cycling through the menu, that's what it looks like. So again, just a just a slight delay. So let's move on to setting up Android Auto. All right, so same thing, but with my Samsung connected. Put this on accessory mode. Wait for the device to boot up. So there is a bug on this. So when you connect to Android Auto, it just takes us to like the device's home screen. It does that on the AutoCast as well, but at least we know it works. Uh, so that was also quick as well. So as you can see, um, we're, we are actually in Android Auto. And again, just like with Apple CarPlay, there's like a one to two second delay. Um, unfortunately, since Apple did eSIMs on their newest iPhones, um, I'm not able to connect to my network, unfortunately. But yeah, guys, Android Auto works on this device. No problem whatsoever. So this is a phone call test. Uh, just so that we can see how much this thing lags. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be calling. Let's go and call again. Can you hear me clearly? Like, cause I'm, I'm talking normal voice right now. Yes, it's clear. How loud is my voice? Um, rate one to ten, it's seven, seven, seven. Probably. Okay. Um, and yeah. actually, go in and out the door so that we can hear it. So there's like a two, almost three second delay from from this box to your phone. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> Cause like I, I saw it when you were like going in the door over there, like when you were walking in, it didn't make a noise until like two, two seconds later. Oh, this delay. Yeah. But yeah. well, I mean, that's fine. Two seconds. <laughs> With this being a Google device, we have a full on Play Store so you can download all kinds of games, connect your controller to this device, and you can start playing some games. So we have everything that the Google Play Store has to offer. Even if we go back onto the home screen, scroll over here. So as you can see, I have Asphalt 8. So here we are playing Asphalt 8 inside of the Type R with this device. So we're gonna see the gaming performance uh, that is on this device from One Car Stereo. Let's go ahead and skip that. So far the graphics looks decent. Um, it's a little bit laggy. There's like a couple drop frames, but it's still 
playable. So as you can see right here, I'm steering the car perfectly fine. There's no lag whatsoever. Maybe a couple of drop frames here and there, but surprisingly, this device is holding up pretty well. Yeah, as you can see, I mean, the games work. This is Asphalt 8. Let's go ahead and move on to a different game. Uh, so these are the pre-installed apps. We have the VLC player, Waze, uh, Netflix, and some other Google stuff like YouTube and Spotify. And we have an APK installer. So yeah, I mean, like I said, this is just a full-on Android system. So you're going to get all the Android games, all the Android apps onto the system, even Netflix. So you can start downloading stuff while you're on the go and like just save some movies onto this device. So just in case you decide to go on a road trip and you have kids um, or it'll be a perfect date night for you and your passenger. So let's just download the new version of Netflix. So unfortunately this app, okay, just open. It'll still work though. All right, guys, so here is proof that Netflix works. So I basically just signed into my account. There is a weird black bar right here uh, on the side, but let's see if this will work. Oh, yeah, that weird black bar, I guess, is this screen right here. But yeah, here you go. Full screen experience. Turn the sound on. And I think being alone. It's very difficult for me. I'm sorry. <clears throat> I'm sorry for becoming emotional. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Is there any? So as you just saw, there is no lag um, and the screen is surprisingly clear. So if you and your date wants to watch a movie while you're eating in your car or like, you know, you're, you're just going out, having some fun, going camping or something, uh, you can definitely watch a movie inside the Type R using its speakers as well. So very convenient. And like I said, you can always download movies. Um, so like knowing Netflix, you can download most of their library so that you don't have to be connected to the internet when you're using this. Even Spotify, you can, you can download your whole playlist on Spotify. You don't even have to have your phone connected to the car anymore because again, this device does have 64 gigabytes of space. So do I think this device is worth it? Absolutely, because not only does this device offer wireless Android and Apple CarPlay, it also gives you a full-on Android system where you can download Android apps onto the App Store, download Netflix movies, and save your whole playlist on the Spotify app. So yes, I do recommend this. And if you have the money, definitely get it for your car. It is a little bit pricey. Do I think it's worth it? Absolutely. Because like I said, it just gives you that wireless experience that our 10th gen Hondas uh, are in need for. This being a 2021, I think we should definitely have wireless Android Auto or Apple CarPlay in our cars by now. Even by 2017, we should have had wireless everything pretty much. So absolutely. I recommend this device 100%. Anyways, guys, if you're interested in this device, I will be linking it down below in the description. Also, I'll be linking all my sponsors down below in the description. Use my codes because you will get a discount uh, when purchasing items off my links. So be sure to check that out. Um, again, guys, thank you all for watching. This is Chris Time FK7. I'll see you on the next video. Peace out.